portfolio. Okay, so when I was shuffling, I got the, uh, all right. Somebody got the truth, I'm gonna take it. Somebody got a truth about a connection. Wow, four wands, but yeah. Anyway, somebody got a truth about a connection or confusion or somebody's going to get clarity about something. Also, okay, so a secret or something that didn't come completely clear. Do you guys want to talk? You guys, okay. Something that didn't become completely clear to you is coming to light now. Maybe you guys haven't been communicating and now you're ready to express how you feel due to this clarity that you got. Um, also, someone is in their head about a decision, but I think you're coming out of that. Yeah, somebody makes you happy here. You have judgment with the king of wands and the four of wands. So yeah, a decision you got the truth about with the judgment card here. King of wands, it's your energy right there. So yeah, four of wands. I think you realized who you want to be with. I think you decided or somebody decided. Okay, can I get more for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs. Hmm, Ten of Pentacles, yeah, you decided who makes you happy. Nine of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, you decided who is your wish. Or somebody decided this about you. Yeah, Three of Cups just showed itself to be. So there was, you had options here. Fool card. So somebody could, okay, so this fool here, this opportunity could have been here for a while. And maybe somebody's like really getting close to deciding to take it. I feel like somebody's moving very slow here. Could, I think it's you. You're trying to make the right decision because you've been through bullshit with people. So really think you're trying to take your time, make the right decisions. And I'm noticing you could be watching a lot of readings right now. Cause I'm just noticing this girl has cards in her hand. You could have your own cards, asking them questions. Like, what do I do? Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, okay. So. There could be a Gemini somewhere. You got the magician at the bottom of the deck, but I also feel like maybe somebody could be another fire sign is being manipulative just for the fact that she came out in reverse. You got the queen of wands here. It could have been a soulmate for you, but they are in reverse. So it could have just been someone that you're supposed to learn a lesson from. Justice here. So yeah, you got the truth about this person. The Gemini could have told you the truth. Let's see. Reverse night, one more card for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Hmm. Yeah, you could be dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. At the Four of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, so somebody's holding on to this truth, holding on to the fact that you could possibly have a new beginning here. Also, maybe somebody could be holding on to information, could be holding on to the truth. Hmm. I do think this new opportunity will make you happy. Very happy. Although I think you maybe have had a misjudgment somewhere. Because, yeah, maybe you misjudged this other fire sign. You thought they were going to make you happy, but they're in reverse here. I don't know, maybe both people make I really do feel like there's two people in your energy. Maybe both people make you happy. One makes you truly happy, one fakes it. And I think you're realizing who who that is or which one's which, because maybe you don't know. Because maybe they both kind of confuse you. Maybe they're both up and down. Let's see, universe clear by the four of wands. You want to build with somebody. I just feel like you don't know who. Universe clear by the four of wands. This might all be going on in your head. Because the Knight of Swords came out a few times when I was shuffling. So yeah, this could all be going on in your head right now and you're not speaking this to anybody. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're slowly moving towards your soulmate, slowly moving towards stability, but you're like, it's like you're healing slow here. You have the Five of Cups, so you're healing slow. Knight of Wands, you could be picking it up for sure. Here, let's clarify the King of Wands. Why is King of Wands here? You could look at somebody like a knight. Maybe you're like, I don't know. Maybe somebody is really in and out of your life, or maybe you're really in and out of somebody else's life. Okay, so you have the Hierophant here. So there's a need to make a decision. Yeah, Two of Wands. 
with the high priest. You need you want to make the wisest decision here. I mean, you have the ace of swords in reverse. So you haven't maybe yeah, you, you could have done a misjudgment and you made the wrong decision with the ace of swords in reverse. Somebody made a wrong decision about somebody or definitely misjudged someone. Okay. Clarify judgment. Could be a water sign. Can't surprise the Scorpio. Or another fire sign. Ten of Wands, yeah. Due to you misjudging this person, maybe, okay, I've, with the, this card in reverse, I feel like you want to take an ending back. It could have been with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. You could have Taurus or Virgo in your chart. But I think you want to take something back. Or somebody wants to take something back with you. Somebody could have misjudged you. So. Okay. Ooh. All right, Ten of Wands. So, yeah, you could have misjudged a Gemini or a Gemini could have misjudged you. Here. Hmm. Also, I'm getting maybe your manifestations could be um, putting a lot on you. Like your thoughts have definitely manifested into the world. And you could have been thinking the worst about somebody and here they are. <laughs> the mask is off. So yeah, but you are coming out of confusion about this beginning here. Oh, wow. And you have the Ace of Cups in reverse. So you're coming out of confusion. The Fool card is still here. You still have this opportunity, but the Ace of Cups is still in reverse. Could be with the Gemini or Aries. So let's see. What about the Ace of Cups in reverse? Somebody is still not moving. Somebody regrets something here. Why is the Ace of Cups in reverse? The wheel. Oh, well, because it's not the right time. It's that simple. Yeah, somebody needs to communicate. Yeah, somebody needs to communicate here. There's a lack of victory. There's a lack of success in the situation somebody could be burying their self and work just to like distract themselves from all of this which is making everything worse like it's probably good for your money but due to your relationships i don't think yeah you got the fool here twice there's new there could be two new opportunities for you nine of cups clear or the nine of pentacles clarifying the nine of cups so yeah somebody is happy and content somebody yeah one of these offers is absolutely beautiful like gonna make you extremely happy nine of pentacles ten of pentacles nine of cups everything you've been wishing for everything you've hoped for is one of these cups i think you may have chose a cup and you chose the wrong one and i think you're knowing that now yeah ten of pentacles can be done with cancer you have cancer in your chart but the ten of pentacles here is yeah you're moving towards this ten of pentacles once you get this truth, once this Ace of Swords turns in the upright for you, oh, let's see, let's clarify the Ace of Swords. I'm gonna backtrack. <laughs> Why is the Ace of Swords here? Yeah, but once you know this truth, you're gonna move forward quickly. You're gonna be like, oh, light bulb. Move forward to what you need to do. Like, do what you need to do. Yeah, you're so confused. Oh my God, yeah. Five of Cups, Two of Swords. You're so confused on what the truth is. I don't know if Spirit's going to tell me. Maybe they'll tell me when I clarify justice here. But yeah, you're so confused. You don't know what decision to make. Could be about a Pisces or a Cancer. So yeah, clarify the Fool. Why is the Fool here? Can you just clarify the Fool? Okay, so I'm just looking at these both of these Fool cards. You could have two opportunities in love. This person looks very serious. Like, I don't know, this person just looks super serious. Like, in a way, like, the fool doesn't know where he's going. But this person's like, I don't know. He could have an idea or he has a plan just in case something goes wrong. This person looks very, yeah. Kind of like an air sign energy. They always have a plan. Could be a Gemini. But in this fool, he's just like... Whatever happens, happens. He's just gonna fall over with this fucking flower in his hand and he's just like, whatever. I feel like these are the energies of these two people. Like maybe this one's too serious and this one's too whatever. So you're just like, I don't know which one to choose because you could, you could like them both, but maybe both of their energies are different for you. Yeah. I don't know, because you like to have a plan kinda, but maybe this person has too much of a plan. And this person is too much of not having a plan. Like, I don't know. That's a weird message, but... Both of these people's energies are confusing you. 
Let's see, clarify the flow. Where's the flow here? Wow, five of wands, it did come out in reverse, so maybe um, you're coming out of conflict. I do feel like this is an inner conflict, though. It doesn't have to be. Let's see, clarify the five of wands. Maybe people are fighting over you, fighting over your attention. Yeah, I do feel like people are fighting over you because I'm just noticing all of these. Yeah, it's your love options. They're kind of fighting over you. One of them could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Yeah, you're standing your ground here. This could be you because you are focused on work at this time. So you could be coming up the King of Pentacles or you could have Virgo in your chart. But yeah, Seven of Wands here. You're being very defensive against everyone, I feel like. If this is only one person, you're being defensive against them. Could be a fire sign. But I'm just noticing all these wands have flowers in their hands. So I'm just like picturing maybe they all want to give you these flowers and once you accept their new beginning, but you're like not. You're just because you don't know which one to choose. You like them all, which sounds bad, but you do. Like if you guys were friends before or something, you, you have, you like them all. But one of them is what you've been looking for. You just don't know which one. I don't know, it's just not like one of those obvious decisions with these two people. Let's see. Clarify the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here in reverse? Why is the Queen of Wands here in reverse? Whoa. Okay, Tower. Could be doing with the Scorpio. I'm getting jealousy, yeah, especially with this Five of Wands here. Someone could be jealous. Oh. Oh gosh, okay. So yeah, clarifying the towers, the seven of wands, queen of wands in reverse again, and the queen of pentacles. This could be an earth sign here. Somebody is jealous. Maybe they're jealous of your money. Maybe they're jealous of your success. But somebody is being really defensive. If you're dealing with a fire sign, it's, it's them. Could be Aries, Leo, Sag. Because hmm. I feel like you're this earth sign here. Yeah, you're being defensive against, against this fire sign. Probably due to whatever happened. Clarify the tower. Whoa, whoa, okay. Could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio that maybe came back in your life. Could be an ex, could be a friend, could be somebody. But somebody came back in your life and now you're being defensive because you're confused. You could be, um, no, okay, yeah. You could be um, trying to decide between maybe your ex and maybe this new fire sign. Let's see. Four of Wands, yeah, I'm thinking you might have feelings for a water sign here. What about the King of Cups? And now you've turned this fire sign completely upside down. Okay. What about the King of Water? Yeah, this King of Water could have left you out in the cold, Five of Pentacles. What about the King of Water? Which why is the king of water here? It doesn't have to be a water sign, but this is definitely somebody that you've had love for before or maybe had a crush on before, and now they're coming back. Or now they're trying to message you. Maybe they're telling you they want to be with you, like, all of a sudden. Shit. <laughs> yeah, there's clarify. Like, okay, they don't want to talk either. Maybe you're not communicating with them. Clarify the king of water. King of Swords, so it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But yeah, somebody definitely cut out, cut out a situation here with the King of Swords. I could have cut you out. Yeah, there's no communication. You got the Eight of Wands with the Death card. So maybe you're not communicating with this person at this time, but they are heavily on your energy. And I think this fire sign knows that because you could be acting not even like knowing that you're doing it but yeah you could be acting different and you're holding on to this four of pentacles you're definitely holding on to this energy and i think they know that so they could be acting different now that you're acting different maybe you're communicating less with everybody yeah six of pentacles you feel like this was unsuccessful in some way that it was a loss but you're holding on to it still, and that's why it's heavily on your energy. 
It was clarified justice. Why is justice here? Six of Swords. Okay, maybe you needed to realize that you need to walk away from either this water sign or this fire sign. Are you realizing this? And that's the truth here. You need to walk away because, like, the Queen of Wands in reverse is everything but harmonious. So you need to move towards um, calmer waters here. Ooh, Five of Swords. So you could be planning to move away and not speaking of these plans with anybody. Let's see. Maybe you're moving towards someone else. It could be this ex or just maybe, like... Okay, yeah, you think you're moving towards your wish fulfillment. Somebody was your wish. And this fire sign. You could be leaving this fire sign out in the cold with the five of pentacles. You just clarify the five of pentacles. Why is five of pentacles here? Or someone's planning to leave you. But like with the five of swords and five of pentacles, this is like a hidden agenda, hidden plan. Somebody's planning to leave. Wow, five of pentacles with the ten of cups. Ooh, and the six of cups. Yeah, you could be going back to somebody. Hmm. Okay, yeah, you could be in this hangman state. You have the star, the hanged man. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with Pisces in a chart or Pisces with Aquarius in a chart. But you could be moving towards either a friend or an old love here with the six of cups. And you're planning to move away. Somebody's planning. Okay, clarify the four of pentacles because, yeah, you're holding on to something. Clarify the Four of Pentacles for Leo. Reverse wise, the Four of Pentacles here. Yeah, you're holding on to an air sign or an emperor. This person could like be in very much control of, I want to say everything. Like maybe they just got it together, this air sign here. Could be an Aquarius or a Gemini or a Libra with justice here. It could be any of them, but um, yeah. You also have the Seven of Swords here. So let's see what that's about. Let me just pull some more cards and see what that's You know what? I took a lot of cards out of that deck. All right. Let's see. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Could be cutting out in Aries. That's why is the Queen of Swords here. Damn, you have the Hanged Man again. So yeah, you could be thinking about... Yeah, Ten of Wands. Okay, so there is burdens here preventing you from starting this new beginning with any of these signs of a strong air energy yeah there is something preventing you here these these wands There's, what's the what's the ten of wands really uh, what's the ten of wands yeah especially with the hanged man eight of wands so yeah maybe some communication is burdening you or it's burdening you that you're not communicating or they're not communicating yeah, there was an end to communication. Universe, why did they stop communicating? Three of, no, oh, wow. Three of Pentacles, three of Swords. Third party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somebody stopped investing in something or someone started investing in something and that they stopped communicating with the person that makes them happy. Let's see. Yeah. I feel like it was you. Somebody could stop communicating. Clarify the Eight of Wands. Yeah, the Eight of Wands twice and then like the Death cards. Maybe someone will start communicating. Eight of Swords. This is due to like self-fear here. Maybe you're scared of what this person's gonna say, but they're scared to talk to you because of what you're gonna say. But nobody's communicating here. Okay. Queen of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The Queen of Cups is, there could be fears here. The hanged man keeps coming up. Somebody is just not speaking to anybody. They're just keeping to themselves. That's the issue. Wow, Seven of Swords, okay. So maybe it's because you feel like somebody is gonna lie to you. If you ask them something, you feel like they're going to lie, possibly. Eight of, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Maybe you don't feel like you can resurrect the situation. Maybe like, I don't know. I want to say not worth working on, but kind of. There's a lack of balance in this situation. Maybe you heard some, yes, yeah, somebody's not speaking about shit. 
Yeah, high priestess just so to sell to me. Somebody's not speaking up. Not telling the other person how they feel. This could be both of you. Let's see, let's get some advice. Because this could just go on forever. Somebody's not speaking up, but the new beginning is here. Somebody wants a new beginning. Star card. There is hope here. An ex could have hope, or this could be hope here with somebody. The somebody has to communicate. Because I feel like it's not going to go as bad as you think. Like, the Eight of Swords, this, these are thoughts. Like, you only think this. So, yeah, the love card just flipped over. So, this is true love. For the person who truly makes you happy, this is true love. And it's, it's the same. You make them just as happy as they make you. So, messenger of earth here. Yeah, somebody could be coming into abundance. You could be seeing, like, a lot of coins on the ground. That means that um, money is coming your way. You could be working very hard right now. Seven of water with the four of water. So yeah, you're discontent about being in this seven of water energy. You don't want to be confused anymore. We've been getting a lot of messages from a lot of people. And maybe that's why you're so confused. Three of earth, come together with this person. Like the advice here, yeah, ace of earth, new beginning. The advice here is you have a lot of earth energy also. So this could definitely be you holding on to this situation, holding on to these feelings of being confused, of being discontent or, dis or disappointed. So yeah, the advice here is to come together with who makes you happy. Start this new beginning here, Ace Birth, or at least, because it is here, you got the full here twice. This new beginning is very much a possibility and it's still here on the table. Don't know how, for how long, so the advice here is to come together with the Three of Earth. So, yeah, it won't disappoint you. You won't be disappointed. Yeah, five of water in reverse. You won't be disappointed if you do this. So, anyway, Leo, I hope this was a good reading for you. It was kind of crazy, but you guys' readings always are. Um, but if you would like a personal reading, there's information down below on how to get one. My Instago link is down in the description bar. So, yeah, um, enjoy the rest of your month. Sure.